Dear Ukrainian and Danish friends, a warm welcome to the Embassy of Denmark in Kiev. I'm really sorry that I could not come to the Lviv for the Leopoldis Jazz Festival, but I'm happy to send warm greetings. This year's festival is particularly important. After more than a year of lockdown and restrictions, this live festival is almost like a liberation. I'm very pleased that one of the most exciting and refreshing new Scandinavian jazz composers and arrangers in many years, Katrine Winfeldt, is one of the highlights of the festival. I could not think of a more appropriate way of celebrating liberation than your exciting music. And let me take this opportunity to share a piece of very good news about Danish Ukrainian relations, including in music. Soon the Danish Cultural Institute and the Danish Youth Council will open a Danish Ukrainian Youth House in Kiev. And I happen to have the director of the Youth House, Julia Anfall Boysen, with me today. So over to you, Julia. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. I'm very happy to be here today and I'm very happy to be in Ukraine getting the Ukrainian Danish Youth House started. Our main goals are to strengthen uh, democratic participation between young people and also to strengthen the relations between Ukrainian and Danish youth. One of the most important ways to do this is through culture and arts. And music is one of our common languages. So we hope to facilitate a more musical exchange in the future between our two countries. So enjoy the festival, enjoy the music and enjoy your weekend.